Khalsa, Vaigur Ji Ki Fateh Saad Sangat Ji. It's good to talk to you again. Uh, it's uh, the first week after the school, schools have opened in September. Uh, this is the third video that I'm been, I've made, part two it's called, and it's an update on what's happening at Khalsa Secondary Academy and to tell you about uh, the struggles that we're going through with the DfE and to seek your help. So the first thing I want to um, tell you about is that Khalsa Secondary Academy have had a fantastic year in terms of school results. The GCSE results uh, were amazing. Um, we've now got four years of very high uh, GCSE results from the school. This year's results put the school in the top 5% nationally and that's against all schools, including grammar schools. Um, the 75 children that sat the exams this year uh, did really, really well. And I'm grateful to them and their parents and all the teaching staff for all of their efforts in getting that. Equally, uh, we had our first sixth form results. And again, uh, it just blew us away. We were really amazed that uh, all of the students did fantastically well uh, in A-levels and BTECs. And again, if you look at the progress, which is the real test of any uh, school or department, the progress that they made between when they came into the sixth form and when they left was, again, in the, in the top 5% nationally. So we are really, really helping these kids. The teachers and parents are doing a fantastic job. So that's the first message I wanted to share with you. Um, the second thing is we've had our intake in September now, so our new Year 7s are with us and it was really pleasing to see nearly a hundred of them start in September. So we're not quite full, so if you have children that want to have an excellent education in secondary, uh, we still have about 20 places available, so please contact our office on the number below. Where we need your help is that the decision to transfer Khalsa Secondary Academy to another trust, we have stated, has been very unfair and very unjust. The reasons why it's unfair and unjust is because we, be, we believe we're being treated differently. Our lawyers have checked the evidence and our lawyers have put together a case and that case was sent to the DfE two weeks ago. In, in that case, it says that the, the DfE have discriminated against the school and trust in reaching their decision. If you look at that in simple terms, what does that mean? When we looked at the way we were treated against how 14 other Catholic schools were treated, there are stark differences. The first difference is that all those 14 other Catholic schools were also graded inadequate from by Ofsted, but none of them were issued a termination notice, and all of them had Ofsted visits over the last two years or so, and were allowed to improve, were allowed to be reinspected, and were and eventually improved themselves and came out of it. Now we believe we're already a good school, and we welcome Ofsted to come in. The reality is that they can't come in because of lockdown at the moment, but we believe that the reason why the DfE have decided to terminate our funding agreement is very unfair and we should be given a chance to improve ourselves. We've been through this before in 2017 with the Seva school. They did exactly the same then. They forced the school to be transferred after it received inadequate judgment and we fought against that and we issued a judicial review to help the Coventry Sangat at that time with the trustees. And we've had to do that here. So when something is not right, we will fight it like Sikhs are supposed to. And that's exactly what we've done here. And we are now waiting for the DfE to give their response back. And we have also asked for an injunction for them to stop what they're doing so that we have a fair chance in front of a judge to prove that the decisions were unfair and should be reversed out. So that's an update on where we are in terms of the legal challenge. Now, legal challenges are not cheap. You know, they're expensive. Uh, an average judicial review will cost 
60 to 70 thousand pounds now we cannot use dfe funds for this because that's unfair we don't want to take the funds from education so we rely on parents and the community and the sangat for donations now the link below will take you to a Just Giving page. Please remember that if you're a taxpayer and you've ticked the gift aid boxes, that uh, we will get 25 pence extra for every pound that's donated. We really need your help and we hope you will help us because this is a fight, not just for this school, but one of the things we're asking for is that if we win here, that we want a proper memorandum of understanding in place for all 13 Sikh schools as well as other minority faith schools who don't have the same legal rights as well. So that's all the Hindu schools, all the Jewish schools, all the Islamic schools. We want the same rights for them as we want for ourselves, as the Catholic schools currently have. Wahiguru Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ka Fateh.